Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over how you can edit and create models inside Unreal Engine. The first thing you want to do is go to Edit and go to Plugins and make sure that you have the Model Tools Editor Mode plugin enabled. To do that, just make sure you check this box and then you'll probably have to restart the editor. Once you've enabled that plugin, just go to the Mode and select Modeling Mode. So the first thing you want to do is go over how you can edit some existing models that you've already brought into Unreal Engine. So first find a model that you want to edit. In this example, I'm just going to use this door. And one really helpful thing that this modeling mode allows you to do is basically edit the pivot point of models that you've imported. So say I have this door, and as we can see, if I try to rotate it, it rotates from the center. Also, if I try to move it, it rotates from the center. What we can do with modeling mode is basically change where the pivot point is. So to do that, we can just select the model and then we're going to scroll down and go to transform and select pivot. And then let's say I just move this little circle. So I'm going to move it all the way here. I'm just going to change my snapping so it's a bit more specific. And let's say I just move it here. I can go accept. And if I was to just bring this door in again, we can see that my door is going to start with its pivot point here, which is just a bit more helpful if say I wanted to rotate this door somewhere in my scene. So that's one really helpful tool because recently I had this project and I had to keep on changing its pivot point and I didn't realize this mode existed. So hopefully that will save you some time if you now that you know about that. So this modeling mode also allows you to um, edit models in some other ways. So I'm just going to bring in this chair model that I imported and show you other ways that we can basically manipulate it. So we just want to go to deform and if I just go to lattice. I can, for example, let's say just select the front of this chair and then I can just drag this forward. I mean, it looks kind of weird, but you can kind of manipulate models a bit using this tool. So I can just select points and then kind of maybe, maybe I want to rotate it or move it up. So using the slatter tool, you can kind of like edit models slightly. So that may just be helpful in general. And then they also have this other tool called warp. So I'm just going to select this door. And another way we can basically edit this mesh is if I just go to warp. And I think there are like three different settings. So there's flash slash squish. So this kind of makes it look like it's kind of been like squished upon. And we can kind of change all its axis. There is like bend, which kind of makes it look like it's been bent, as it says. So I can kind of like rotate it here. Or you can also like adjust its settings here, whatever you find like easier. So the bend, lower bound, upper bound, and like kind of how much it bends by. And then there's also um, twist, so it kind of just makes it kind of twist, makes the model twist, and you can control by how much. So this is kind of helpful for again, just like slightly editing models if you need to. And there are also loads of settings, but those are kind of like some basic settings, which I think may be helpful if you just need to make some like quick touches to your model. Next, let's go over how we can actually create some models with this modeling tool. So as you can see, they have this create section. So I'm just like this poly extrude and basically using this, you can create some um, static meshes inside of Unreal Engine. So just select anywhere on the map and I'm just going to select here. And you can basically just select and create a shape. And then when you're done, just connect the um, last point and this point and it'll create a mesh. Then you can move up with your mouse to decide how tall you want it to be and then click select. And then if I go complete, you've created this static mesh. So I think that's kind of cool if you just want to like prototype something or create some quick um, object. So this poly extrude create mode basically has some other settings. So the mode it is on by default is freehand, but you can change this to something like square. And if say I just drag my mouse, I can create the square mesh. So there are also some other ways that you can create meshes using this tool. I just use that freehand, and I think that's kind of cool. And then, with once you've created your mesh, you can use this poly um, extrude tool, and you can kind of like extrude the side if you wanted to. So I can select the side, and then make it bigger here. I can maybe select that side and make it wider there, or here. So again, kind of just like a nifty, helpful tool for like prototyping um, levels if you needed to do that. And once you're done, you can just click accept, and now you have that cool new mesh. They also have this other tool, which is kind of like path extrude, which is kind of like the opposite of this. So I'll kind of show you what I mean. So I just select path extrude 
and then say I select this point here, 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 and then connect here. Then once you've done that, you can kind of decide how thick you kind of want this to be. So I'm gonna make it here. And this kind of just creates like the opposite of this. So it's kind of like a path. So this will be good for like, I guess, creating like maybe a cable or path. And then once you're done, you just select and you have this cool little um, basically prototype thing. So that basically kind of creates a mesh with everything inside. And this kind of just like the outside. And then the final um, create tool that I've kind of used is kind of this um, path mode. So I'll show you what it does. This kind of creates like a 360 degree um, mesh of the thing you create. So I'll just create it. So let's say I select here, here on my map, here, and then here. You can see that um, it's basically kind of created this mesh all the way around here and you can play with the settings of it. So maybe I don't want this to be 360 degrees. Maybe I just want it to be like, I don't know, 169 degrees. I can change the degree offset. So kind of like where it starts. Steps, I think this changes like how smooth it's gonna be. So like the more it is, the less kind of smooth it's, be, it's gonna be. So you can see it kind of looks like an octagon from that shape. We can give this a height offset. And then I think there's some other settings. But we can basically kind of use those tools to kind of create some cool looking meshes for your game or just prototype levels. So I'll click accept because I'm happy with that. So the next modeling mode I'm going to show you is going to be the shapes. And we can basically use this to create some basic shapes inside of um, Unreal Engine. So one of the first shapes I'm going to show you is going to be the stairs. And we can just, for example, select stairs and then place it. We can change how the models are going to basically appear by changing the settings here in this modeling tab. So maybe I want my next stairs to have really tall height. I want them to have a high width. I want them to have quite a long depth. And as we can see, those are the stairs that I basically made this time. I can also change basically how these stairs are gonna be. So I can maybe make them curved. And we can see that I've got some curved stairs. Maybe I want them to be maybe a bit bigger when they're curved. And we've got some cool curved stairs. I could also change this to be a floating stairs so that basically it has, um, it just like hangs in the air. So I think with each shape, they're basically um, different settings they can play around with. So if I go to the um, square, by default, it's just the square, but I can change its width, its depth, its height. And now I have this um, square. And with all the basic um, shapes and models, you can basically control what material they'll have. So maybe I want this cube, my next cube to basically have, let's say this brick material and it'll have this material. And, and as I increase its width and height, our material will basically kind of adapt to it. And that basically create this cool um, brick wall. So those are all the modeling tools that I'm gonna cover in this video. And you can basically use this to basically create or edit models inside of Unreal Engine. I think it's a super helpful tool. If you've enjoyed and found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I find it very helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.